You may think scientists stationed in Antarctica are just playing with penguins or studying leopard seals, but some of them are down there to fly balloons or watch ice cubes, special balloons and special ice cubes, like the balloon-based experiment ANITA, which has seen things we thought weren't possible and could show us that our current knowledge of particle physics is just the tip of the iceberg. ANITA, short for the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, was designed to study ultra-high energy cosmic neutrinos by taking advantage of the ice sheets that blanket Antarctica. Now, I know you're already an expert in neutrinos because you watch all my videos, right? Right? Okay, then a quick refresher. Neutrinos are ultra lightweight and chargeless particles that almost never interact with other matter. Because of those properties, they can travel through entire planets without being affected. At least that's true for the low energy neutrinos we usually talk about. That variety mostly comes from atomic decay deep inside the sun and it acts like me at a party, rarely interacting with anything. These are the same neutrinos we use massive tanks of ultra pure water like the Super Kamiokande detector to spot. But there are other types of neutrinos, and the ultra-high energy variety is something of a different animal. They have wider cross-sections, meaning they're more likely to collide with other particles as they pass. They're made during high-energy collisions, like when cosmic rays and photons interact. Then they zip along through the universe until they reach us here on Earth. Because of that bigger cross-section, they don't penetrate very far before they interact with something, causing a cascade of particles that give off what scientists describe as a snap of radio frequencies. To pick up these fairly faint signals, known as Ascarian pulses, scientists need somewhere without a lot of other radio signals. They also need a lot of a radio transparent medium, so the high energy particle interaction can occur, but the Ascarian pulses can still propagate. A medium like ice. And that is why the ANITA experiment was flown over Antarctica. Attached to a NASA long duration balloon, the antenna flew a total of four missions from 2006 to 2016, staying aloft between three and five weeks at a time. While it was up there, it picked up the refracted radio signals coming from the ice below. Scientists basically turned an entire continent into a scientific instrument. That is some comic book villain logic, and it totally worked. Actually, it worked so well, it spotted something we can't explain with our current particle physics. On multiple occasions, Anita detected signals coming straight up from beneath it, meaning, in theory, they must have traveled through the Earth as opposed to just skimming through the ice at an angle. Since ultra-high energy neutrinos interact much more frequently than their low energy counterparts, they shouldn't be able to travel through the entire Earth. To double check there was no mistake, they looked through the results of another Antarctic-based neutrino detector, Ice Cube. Not the rapper turned actor, he's not down there. Making use of stable, ultra-clear ice, Ice Cube sensors monitor a cubic kilometer of ice for neutrino interactions starting 1,500 meters below the surface. Sure enough, the data reveal three other events where particles seem to come up from straight below. Three detections may not sound like a lot, but mathematically, it's way more than they should be seeing. It shouldn't even happen once. This is potentially huge news for particle physics. If we can rule out the idea that these are neutrinos that are blasting at us from one specific place so intensely the detectors can see them, what's called the point source hypothesis, then these can't be ultra high energy neutrinos at all, which means nothing in the standard model explains it. This means it could point to other theories that could supplant or expand the standard model one day. But scientists aren't ready to throw out the standard model just yet. More data is necessary, so Anita's proposed successor, the payload for ultra-high energy observations, may continue the hunt for these inexplicable interactions. The resulting data from it and other experiments like Anita and Ice Cube could help tell the Large Hadron Collider where to look as it searches for particles outside the standard model. Of course, we can't discuss Antarctic research without acknowledging the giant penguin in the room, the climate crisis. Check out this episode of Focal Point about scientists creating an ice vault in Antarctica to store glaciers' memories before they're gone forever. And for more stone-cold, stunning science news, subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Seeker.